Hi Aquarius, this is your reading with me. We are going to look into your person's thoughts in regards to you and see what's coming through. This is a timeless reading, so it's from whenever you choose to watch this video that the reading is for you rather than when I've posted it, because you might, you know, some of you might be watching this after I've posted this in the future maybe. And um, yeah, so before I start, I just wanted to mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, that is also available on my website as well as linked down below. So there's private tarot readings, there's rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic energy removal, and also healing work, which has been very popular recently which I like. That's that's a really lovely thing. Um, and also there's intention items for various areas of your life as well on my website. So there's an entire like five star review section at the bottom of my website where thousands of people have seen results with these items. These items are meditated with and sage and they're really special because again they're for different areas of your life and there's bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards and pouches which you can put under your pillow, you can keep them around you on the table, you know, you can even put them in a drawer or in your wardrobe and they are for different intentions and there's also candles, sage bundles, teas, etc. So everything's listed down below for you. All right, so let's begin. Aquarius, your person's thoughts towards you currently. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This card keeps coming out. You know, this, this card is very unique to tarot. It is a guru card. Um, sorry, to this particular like deck. Um, it's it's interesting how it keeps coming through. I just feel like this an epiphany energy, especially because the Ace of Swords literally represents epiphany, a victory, um, enlightenment, an awakening that has literally happened. Like the sun is rising and it's like, oh my gosh, it's a new day. It's a new chapter. It's a new beginning. And the Guru card here shows a very, very strong spiritual awakening having happened they feel so connected to you. They genuinely do have this epiphany and this realization that you are the right person for them. And that is something that I am absolutely picking up on here is that currently they have realized that you are the right person for them, that you are just correct. You know, when people say the one, like they really do feel like you are the one. You are someone who is powerful, you are someone who's strong, you are someone who's caring and empathic and genuine and respectful and communicative, you are someone who is always trying to resolve things and work on things and build and that is really really attractive to them. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life and a fee. I, I know there's more like lyrics in between them but you know for the sake of uh, this YouTube <laughs> tarot reading I'm feeling good. <laughs> no, really, really, really. Look at this, right? Seven of Cups, everything that they have visualized from a life partner is what you bring to the table. And that makes them feel very good about where things can potentially go between the two of you, right? So they've definitely had this epiphany and they're realizing that you tick a lot of their boxes, which is a big thing for them. Oh yeah, look at this. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's the first card in tarot, and the fool is feeling good. Really, look, new beginning. They want to embark on a new journey with you. They want to start fresh with you. They want to progress things with you. They want to write a new chapter with you. They want to, um, they absolutely want that with you. Like, I, I can't even explain it in any other way, okay, even... Michael Buble is on our side here. I just feel that this person really genuinely does care about you. They really like you. And the other thing as well that I'm really picking up on Aquarius is that we've got this sort of spontaneous energy. They're thinking about surprising you with something. They're thinking about coming towards you and, and really just you know, showing up and, and seeing how you react to that, whether you get excited, whether you don't, whether you like it, whether you don't, you know, they, they want to also see your reaction. They want to see your body language. They want to see how you react to them because that also cements in them how much they believe you feel about them, if that makes sense. So it's interesting. I pick up on a surprise. Yeah, there you go. Page of Cups, surprise. 
Surprise! <laughs> it literally is the surprise energy. You've got a freaking fish in that cup. You can't get more surprising than that, you know? I mean, trust the page to have a fish in their cup. There you go. Okay, so they, they will come to you with something here. There you go, Venus. They do, they really do believe that you're the right person for them because the Venus energy here, especially with the Empress, is so powerful. The Empress literally is about life partner. You know, it's a life partner. It's about creating that environment and the Empress alone can create that environment. Now, whether you're male or female, I know I'm describing you as an Empress. I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, you know, so if you're male or female, whatever kind of connection you are in or whatever kind of, um, yeah, I mean, person you are, you know, it is describing you as loving. They feel that you are loving, you are kind, they, they can build with you, they can be with you, and that you are home. You feel like home to them. And that is so important for them. Because they don't really think that about many people, let's be very honest, actually, you just can't honestly make this up. I literally said home, and you've got here the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles. So, um, the Taurus and Libra energy is very powerful in this reading. I just thought I'd mention it because some people do ask about signs and Empress is ruled by Venus. Venus rules only two signs, Taurus and Libra. Also, King of Pentacles is a very, very heavy Taurus energy because you've got the bull there. So I just thought I'd mention that as well. And also, um, Taurus and Uranus are connected. Okay, so the full card is uh, ruled by Uranus. And so, again, that Taurus link is made there. You've got the Venus um, Libra energy linked there. You see where I'm going with this? Taurus and Libra are the two of the most powerful signs in this reading, but it's also because of Venus, right? So I think what's really important here is that they feel love towards you. They feel like you are home. You've literally got a castle in the background here. You bring stability. You bring so much to the table. They're trying to now, like, you know, they want that. They want that. They literally want that. Boom. You bring stability. That Ace of Pentacles is right there. They actually have also thought about, so this is a surprising energy, but they also have thought about what things would be like to live with you, okay, or to propose to you. Um, because they, you know, this is also family energy. This is commitment energy, also marriage energy as well. Ooh, sun. So happy. So happy. Yeah, you make them happy. You really do. When they think about you, they, they, they get happy. They feel happy that they have known somebody like you, that they know someone like you. Imagine that, right? Imagine making someone happy in that sense. That's such a beautiful thing. Oh, so beautiful. I can't think of something so oh, something more beautiful than like just knowing that you make someone happy. You make someone feel good. Because you know, there was that very famous quote, and I don't remember who it's by, um, but it's, people never forget how you make them feel. They just don't. And that is, that's a big one. I mean, that's why so many people are traumatized, right? They feel sad or they have emotional issues. It's because people never forget how certain people have made them feel. And that's so true. So true. Um, I want to be more than friends. Yep, yeah, I can <laughs> definitely see that here. Uh, that's not a surprise that that card has come out. Um, I wish, oh, hold on a second. I wish I could just turn back time and start over with you true we literally have that new chapter energy new beginning energy not surprised this card has come out either um i know in my heart that we will be together again yes 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 so you know they they do want to be with you some of you you know it can be the start of something after something perhaps didn't work out for others of you you know perhaps things were a little bit stagnant and then they sort of come back around in a stronger way for others of you it's a sense of them perhaps having changed their mind and then now they want to, you know, progress things with you. But others of you might be confused because they might be hot and cold towards you, but then, you know, then they want to really start things and move things along. Okay, I'm not going to take all of these. That's a lot. Okay. Um, I do need one more, though. These cards are so slippery. Um, okay, here we go. You are worthy of so much more than what I can give. That's interesting. Do they still want you, though? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just put the deck down and literally, they're, because they're so slippery, they just went flying off the table anyways. That's okay, because these are your cards. I'll pick them up later. Um, I know in my heart that we'll be together again. Yep, that's 
what I just mentioned, I miss you more than you realize. So they do miss you a lot and they do have a lot of those feelings towards you. Um, and yeah, they, they really do feel that you're worthy of so much more because they see you as someone who honestly can give so much. And so, you know when, it's the only way I can really give you an analogy. You know when you bid on something and you know for a fact you've got a bargain? I'm just saying. Like they know, okay, that they have scored big time, big time with you, that you are worthy of like so much more than they, what they can give. And of course they're gonna try and give to you, okay? N make no mistake about that. I'm not comparing you to like a product or an item, but you know when you just know that there's like severe value to a person and you're like, wow, like how did I end up with a person like this? That's what they think about when it comes to you. They think about like, oh my God, like how did I end up meeting somebody like you? Because it's so hard to meet people these days, you know, that are genuine and kind and um, on that level. So that's really what I'm seeing there as I'm just picking up these cards that fell on the floor, which to be honest, they don't even want to come into my hands. Okay, but what I do want to mention is that if you would like to win a free reading with me um, and, you know, all the other stuff that I mentioned, it's always in the description box below. Um, there's, you know, if you found that this resonated or if you find you want to claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below and check out the description box below. Um, all the information is down, down there for you and I'll see you all very soon and I really hope this helped you a lot. <laughs> really do. All right, so take care everyone and I'll see you all soon. Bye.